At the end of One Squadron, I was pretty much destined in my mind to go to the OCU as an instructor, which I didn't particularly want to do. But the Air Force said, how about going to the Jaguar, which was an up and coming new, new aeroplane coming into service. I said, if I've got to go to an OCU to instruct, I'd rather do it on the Harrier because I know the Harrier. And they said, no, it'll be a squadron. I said, OK, I'm in for that. So I went up to Lossy Mouth, did a quick conversion onto the Jaguar, a quick QY conversion onto the Jaguar. But while I was doing those things, um, there were a few Jaguar crashes, which resulted in the loss of a couple of instructors. Mm. So they were now short of instructors. So I was held at Lossy Mouth to instruct on the OCU for a short while. One of the squadron commanders at Lossy was an ex-Harrier man. And he smiled at me and said, right, we've got you now, you'll be staying. And I said, no, 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 they've promised me a, a Germany squadron. And they said, no, we've got you, you'll be here. But bless the Air Force, they stuck by what they'd said. And I did three months instructing at Lossy and then went out to Bruggen to a Jaguar squadron there. The Jaguar was a lovely aeroplane to fly. It was woefully underpowered. And they said that the Jaguar only got airborne because the earth was round. Um, but once it was up and running, it actually would go quite quickly. It had a better nav attack system than the Harrier had. Well, it was a different generation. You know, it was one generation beyond. Um, it wouldn't fight. It ran out of energy very quickly. But it was a great aeroplane to fly. Uh, in my, I, I flew the Jaguar only for a year. That included the conversion. But in that year, I got 360 hours, which is a good number of hours. And I had my best ever month of a little over 52 hours in a month. And that was all single seat, all low level, all proper flying. During my time on the Jaguar, I witnessed my sixth ejection. Well, I was having difficulty finding people ready to fly in formation with me by this stage, <laughs> I think. Uh, he had a catastrophic engine failure. And when I say catastrophic, it resulted in the engine seizing rather than windmilling. Mm. And he was getting distracted by a lot of warning signs and things. And he went, this was from La, which was a Canadian Air Force base in South Germany. And when he came back into land, um, the aeroplane got behind the drag curve, and even though he had full burner going on one engine, it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Hence the comment, it's woefully underpowered. Yep. And he ejected probably 50 to 100 feet, uh, mm -hmm. just short of, uh, of the runway. Wow. Um, that was my time on the Jaguar, very short. And then again, masterful posting by the Air Force. I got posted on an exchange tour to the US Navy back in a Harrier related job.